Hey guys, your objective for this video is to find the plastic centroid of the section we're working with. So, the plastic centroid, I've given D uh, subscript PC, so the distance from the plastic centroid, and I'm going from the top of our section, so that way, is given by the sum of the forces times the distance of the force over the sum of all the forces. So it's quite similar to the centroid you're normally used to, but instead of the area, so you're used to seeing A times D on the sum of A, we're doing the sum of the forces times the distance on the sum of the force, okay? So it's pretty similar, we're just doing forces. So we're gonna go ahead and calculate the distance of the plastic centroid. So essentially we're gonna have um, four different components. We're gonna have this layer of steel, this layer of steel, this layer of steel, um, and then also the entire area of concrete. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. Now, we'll do, work with the steel first. So, sum of the force, we're going to be using the sum of the force is equal to area times stress. So, that's the same as force. And then we're going to be timesing that by the distance. So, area times stress is the same as force. Force equals stress times area. So, we're going to work with the steel first. We'll work with that layer there. So, we have, in terms of area, 2 by pi by 6 squared. So that's how much area of steel we have. Now the stress in the steel, so we calculated before that because the maximum strain allowed given by the code is 0 0.0025, we saw that although the yield stress is 600 MPa, the stress in our steel is actually 500 MPa. So based on this problem, because we're only allowed to go up to 0 0.0025, the stress in our steel is 500 MPa. So I'm gonna write that over there. The stress in our steel is 500 MPa, not 600, okay? Because the maximum strain is 0.0025 for this problem. So that means the area times the stress, so